All right, finally. My wisdom teeth don't hurt enough so I can actually speak now, so that's nice. But I still need to get my wisdom teeth taken out. But at least I can talk now, finally. But uh, anyway, guys, hey guys, me again. You know who I am. And today, I'm going to talk about a augment that I never see ever used in Excalibur builds and I think should be used. And, like, this augment is so meta, it kind of hurts to see not see people not running this. But, uh... Alright, so here's my, 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 uh, my basic Excalibur build. You know, I have, um... Just enough duration and efficiency to last me, last my, uh... My, my Exalted Blade, like, forever, basically. I have a bunch of power, strength, and range. Alright, that, 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 that's pretty standard stuff. And then I got Surging Dash. Now, Surging Dash is a slash dash augment so each hit enemy hit uh, during slash dash further increases your melee count by four and it is affected by power strength so with 200 percent power strength every time i hit an enemy with slash dash it gives me eight hits to my combo counter which synergizes well with all the you know the combo combo melee builds out there for instance my tip of my secure luck to build any blood rush build would do fine you know stuff like that now, I'm actually going to lower the level of these guys just so I can show you how this augment works without me just dying right away. Because <laughs> um, it's uh, it's Excalibur. He's pretty squishy. But, uh, okay. So, I'm just going to... Just just level 50. Just so I can show you how this works. And I'm going to show you other examples of this. So... If you're locked on to some... Uh, locked on enemies, you're also immune to damage for the duration of Slash Dash. And then there you see two times combo multiplier is 40. I don't actually have a, uh, hold on. I don't have a uh, combo timer increasing mod on my melee, so let's change that real fast. But that's that's five enemies. That's two times 2x combo multiplier instantly. But uh, let's see what we're going to change here. So let's swap out Fever Strike here for Drifting Contact. All right. And let's go back in here. So I slash dash all these guys. Lock on. Oh, I only hit three of them that time. But seems to like be everyone within Excalibur's line of sight is affected by slash dash. You see my combo multiplier is ridiculous. I can just kind of kill them now. Now, I don't have to like hit five enemies before my combo starts. Essentially, all I have to do is slash, go in, slash dash, and red crit as normal with my secure electa, for instance. And whip. And there you go. Pretty, pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, there's no reason not to run this, and I generally run this over uh, finishing. What is it? Now, I generally run this over Radiant Finish. I used to run this with my Excalibur builds a lot, and then they cha change it so that if we need to spin attack with, um, with Radio, with, um, you know, Exalted Blade, it actually costs, like, energy now. It's, like, half as much energy as a no normal Radio Blind, but it has, like, way, like, a quarter of the range, and it kind of sucks. So, I, I kind of just took it off, and I kind of don't want to spin attack with, like, Radio, Radio, uh, Ex Exalted Blade anymore. So that's why I generally run this over that. Um, <clears throat> this does work with Exalted Blade, however, since the wave the wave itself does not count toward the com the combo multiplier. Getting like a direct hit will, and s the slash dash augment obviously will. And so you could sort of sort of like like do like a I don't know how how, how you do this, but I'll show you that drifting contact does work. And let's just just get another weapon here. Let's grab. My Nami Solo. Alright, pretty standard. This is a gas build. I have Drifting Contact here. But, you could you probably wouldn't ideally use this for Exalted Blade, but uh, it still gives me, gives, like, breathes new life into Slash Dash that Exalted Blade generally wouldn't have. Especially after that nerf. And you can see it definitely works with Exalted Blade. Problem is the wave does not count, so you probably 
don't want to bother with this with the uh, Exalted Blade or like a Blood Rush build on Exalted You totally could. Like if you want to do like a something like that, you'd probably just go for Valkyr. If you're going to do like a Blood Rush, you know, a Drifting Contact build, go for... That's probably what Valkyr is there for because otherwise Excalibur's Wave doesn't count toward the combo counter and uh, Wukong knocks everybody around too much for it to be worth it. But yeah... Here's another example, so, <clears throat> of this augment. So I'm gonna increase these guys' level. And, uh, let's go in there with- this is my gas Nami solo. So I'm just gonna go, uh, lock on. And blind them, and then I'm just gonna... I don't wanna finish all these guys! <laughs> and then just, just kinda die. Oh, there they are. And I don't have to, like, build up my combo to get the crits really going. Oh. Oh, you're unblinded. Oh, well, he's dead. But, yeah. That's another example you'd probably want to use that for. Say, if you're trying to build up, you know, the Narmon gas combo. And, you know, you, you want to build that combo instantly. You don't want to have to wait and go through a ton of enemies before you build that up. Then that's that's uh, that's what you would generally use this augment for. Also, if you do Riven challenges, uh, there's a Riven challenge that tells you to get to a three times combo multiplier uh, and hold it for like what 25 seconds or something like that, or is like a minute or I, I don't remember. But you gotta do it with like a, a Kubro out or something like that. This augment does count toward that, so that's that's awesome. That's that's definitely why uh, another reason why you generally use this. And again, so sign out heal your healer core with like a blood rush build, as I'm using here. I do have the normal healer core, but uh oh, uh oh, I'm in trouble. All right, and then oh, well, I'm dead. But, in general, you, you guys get the point. Like, I, I generally have a general use for Slash Dash. And Slash Dash uh, generally can fuel my melee. And that's even better than, like... And if you want to, like, talk about, like, say, a really, really good weapon to use with this, probably, like, the Venka Prime. Although, this doesn't... I don't think this counts toward the uh, 3x combo multiplier. However, it does build it up faster, you know, because it has that in special increased combo multiplier and whatnot. I'm already at a 2.5 times. Yep, just 3.25 times. And it just starts red critting immediately. Since these guys are much, much higher level than I am, it's going to be a problem. There. And as you see, I can just start red critting faster and faster and faster. Something like the Venga Prime, although I don't really care for this weapon, because it has a very limited reach. It does have a nice mechanic, and if you do like the Venga Prime, I feel like... Sla uh, if you're using... If you main Excalibur, or you you say you, you really like Excalibur, or his exalted bl or whatever. I think you should give Surging Dash a try. Definitely 100% Surging Dash is great. I, I use this in my Genji build. I kind of didn't explain it very well in that video. But definitely an augment that is worth your time. Especially now in the current, you know, combo melee meta. That's going to build your combo instantly. And going to get your Riven challenges done really fast. So uh, anyway guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.